Yeah. What's going on, everybody out there? It's your boy Just, and uh, we back here again on Global Unlimited Podcast. You know what I mean, as always, man, we got a dope uh, interview lined up for y'all with a dope guest. Uh, come to find out, he like family. <laughs> you know I mean, like a little little brother, a little cousin. You know what I mean? Uh, from out the way, you know, from out Bromley. You know what I'm saying? Representing. Um, his dad is an entrepreneur. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of people in his family are entrepreneurs. So he got a natural, basically. You know what I mean? Um, my man, Cain Blanco, is in the building with us today, man. To talk about a little about what this uh this this new app you got, man. What's going on with you today, bro? How you feeling? I'm cool, man. I'm cool. Appreciate you having me. Absolutely. Oh, Appreciate absolutely, you. man. This this is what we do here, man. You know I mean, uh, matter of fact, it was actually it was True Con who uh who tagged me in uh one of your in your posts. Mm-hmm. And I mean that's how Ooh. I seen it. In the, um, that's my brother. Oh yeah, good people. Mm-hmm. True Con, that's yeah, my brother yeah. too from another mother. Now I mean, like mm-hmm. you know. We, uh, we, me and Kyle met years ago. Now we do a lot of like, different business together. You know what I'm saying? So right, right. Uh, yeah, no, nah, solid dude. So shout out to him for that. You know what I mean, oh, yeah. support yeah. spreading the word. He like, definitely spread the word because he tagged a few people. I was, uh, yeah, he's going hard. He's going hard for you, man. I that. <laughs> nothing, nothing goes unnoticed, man. I appreciate it all, man. Oh, it's how we do, though, man. We gotta, you know, what I mean, make sure we all, you know, what I mean, support each other. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, and I, was, I was doing my little research on the app. Actually, I downloaded it to my phone. Actually, I got so you know I'm a, I'm a user as well. Mm-hmm. And um, I was um sitting going through the app, and I'm trying to exactly figure out the whole concept behind it. So mm-hmm. once you break that down for the people a little bit and explain to them the whole concept of the app, what's the name of the app and everything, and how can they uh how can they use it? Okay, yeah. So the app is called the Bear Witness app. Um, it's an acronym. It breaks down as Bystanders Exercise in American Rights. Um, and initially, when I thought about the app, um, I wanted to make it real simple and just re- like a quick response. It wasn't nothing to be used as as a social tool, a social platform of that nature. But we do want to develop some things just to be just to keep people engaged. Obviously, like resources and tools and blogs and keeping people updated with information. Um, but so as far as the app go, we wanted to just, uh, give people the opportunity to send out an alert if needed. Um, and then people around them in their area just receive an alert. It is that simple. And just people just come on to the scene as witnesses and support everybody. Cause at the time, um, the Breonna Taylor and, um, um, George Floyd incident had just took place. So the whole country was like making a stand. It was, you know, the climate of the country at that time was like very, powerful everybody was like standing behind each other obviously the black lives movement and every other movement was just protesting heavy so i'm like we kind of need that's like the after effect of it all i kind of felt like we needed to create something that was more of a preventability type of aspect um prevention type of aspect where we can try to reduce the chances of things like this happening so we don't have to get to the point where we're protesting and rioting because somebody got killed because by that time the damage is really done. Now we just trying to recover. You know what I'm saying? That's a sign of recovery. So I was like, you know, on site kind of protesting in your community. So like when you, when something is going down or you get an alert that a fellow neighbor of yours or something like that, or whoever it could be in your area is feeling like they're at harm while being apprehended by police, we should be on them scenes to be like to hold people accountable. And I and my whole mindset was like you never know who coming out them houses, who got who got the knowledge, you know, to to identify certain statutes or seeing certain bite, uh, rights being violated. So that's all it was, kind of bringing people together to prevent these things from happening rather than waiting to get together after this this tragedy has already occurred. A beforehand type thing, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So <clears throat> So describe that. Are you able to go live and record, or like, or how? Yeah, how, yeah. So how does it work? Once you send out your alert, you're able to uh, record. You you have the option to record immediately. But the thing is, some people, you know, some cops might be just overzealous and be like, "Put your phone down right now." If I'm saying, you know how it go. So right. that's why we send out the alert to get people to support us. Somebody that can come on the scene who got the right to really be moving their hands and doing extra stuff. Because the cop, you know what I mean? You, you got a brush in your pocket. You try to empty your pockets after they told you to, and you get popped. It, you know, it go all type of ways, man. So mm-hmm. we just wanted to get people on the scene so you can focus on doing your part while you're dealing with them. And we can focus on making sure they do their part while they're dealing with you. You know what I'm saying? So just the preventability. So, yeah, you can go. You can record. You got the option to record. 
Um, and then it gets uploaded to a secure cloud, so it can't be tampered with, and none of that, none of that BS. You know what I mean? So, um, that's pretty much clear as clear cut as it is. You know what I'm saying? We also implemented something called Bear Tips in there just to help with like just the whole mental preparation process. Um, when you're dealing with that, if you getting pulled over, we all know how that feel. A lot of times we we get tense. You know what I'm saying? We get we get anxious. It's anxiety that starts to settle in, and we just kind of feel like this ain't a good position to be in. So we, we, we encourage people to, you know, do basic things like take a deep breath, you know, make sure that you, you know, you just, you're not being rude or giving them any, you know, probably flaws or, you know, just provoking them in any way, even though it don't take much, you know what I'm saying? But that's just, that's just <laughs> this, this, this is enough right here, color our skins, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. already. So, you know, we got to, you know, as cliche as it may sound, you know what I'm saying? As woke as it may sound, we really got to start using our minds and out thinking these situations and, you know, just trying to get back home to our families at the end of the day, man. That's what's the most important, man. Being being frustrated is 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 normal. You know what I'm saying? Being upset is normal, but it'd be too late. It, by the, you know, the tragedy happens and nobody took the time out to think like, yo, you got a kid to get back home to. You know what I'm saying? So let's get these people back home in these situations. The traffic stop shouldn't lead to nobody getting killed, man. You know what I'm saying? So a simple traffic stop or, you know, just anything of that nature shouldn't lead to people getting killed. So we just yeah, trying I mean, to... If, if you're not you know, trying to kill a cop, the cops shouldn't be trying to kill you. Absolutely. Like, I mean, Most of like, the time, they ain't the case. So, you know... <laughs> it's not. Unfortunately, it's not. I mean, it's, yeah. it actually, it's a serious situation that's been going on, you know I mean, for hundreds of years. And luckily, you know I mean, with apps like yours, you know I mean, people are starting to be able to bring awareness to it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, you know, people that you know, constantly having uh, camera phones and all that type of stuff. You know what I mean? It right. goes back to when, uh, even when Rodney King was getting beat and somebody mm -hmm. actually was able to record it. But even then, you know what I'm saying? The people, you know, the, the, the jury, whatever, ain't, ain't see what they, you know, believe in what they were seeing. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So how, how do you feel like this, 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 your app will make a difference in trying to prevent those type of situations? Um, I feel like it'll make a huge difference, man. It's not, it's like, like I tell people, man, it's not the whole solution. It's just part of the solution. We ain't, we haven't invented something that's completely new. We just turned it into a platform. You know what I'm saying? We just turned it into a community where we can really like be focused and organized and know that's what, that's our attention. Cause a lot of the time people just so happen to be there. They're not called there. They're not, they're, somebody's not requesting for them to come there. And, you know, we also feel like, uh, you know, a lot of times you're not around your loved ones who can, who can, so like, say if you got a child, I don't know if you have any children, but if you had like a young teenager, you know what I'm saying? They went away on a trip with their friends or something, maybe like Delaware, Philly, somewhere that you might not be, an area you might not be in. They call you, you can't get all the way to Philly or Delaware if they're able to call you. So, you know, that's what we want to try to bring the, bring the whole nation together and communities that experience these type of situations together just to help support strangers. You know what I'm saying? It's because my kid, my kid is somewhere in Delaware and he sent out an alert and some strangers come out the house and, and all they see is a, a young a young man that deserves the right to have, you know, the chance to just have a fair situation with the law. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. that's all we need. You know, I don't need to know you personally to know this ain't right and you shouldn't be treated like this because I didn't know George Floyd at all. But until he got killed, you know what I mean? Like, and I didn't need to know him. You know what I'm saying? We didn't know Bri Breonna Taylor personally at all. So we don't need to know these people personally. So that's one of the things that I feel like is going to be truly impactful is because it's not just who you know personally. You know what I'm saying? It's just no, just right, no matter what. We, right, we, right, we, right. we ain't focused on the case. We focus on the cause, man, at the end of the day. The cause is, is bigger than every particular case. We can't go and dissect every particular case. There's been so many of them. So we got to focus on the cause, and that's what we want to do. We want to help, you know, contribute to the cause of uh, preventing these things from happening. I like, I like the acronym, uh, Bystanders Exercising American Rights. Yeah. I mean, what, um, or... Yeah. So, what made you sit down and actually come up, come up with this app and put it together and you know, you know, make it, make it um, available for the people? Like, what was your um your whole thought process behind it? Well, like I said, the uh, the Breonna Taylor and um George Floyd situation had just happened, and my lady she asked me, she was like, "So, how you feeling? You know, what I mean, like." You know, I'm sure this is probably taking it. This could take a toll on you. It was a lot going on. You know, it's all over social media. Everybody protesting. It was a lot going on. It was, it was just getting, you know, beating in your head every day. So I just was like, you know what? Like, you know, I feel the same way everybody else feel. You know what I'm saying? I feel, you know, disappointed. I feel all those things. But I also feel like we got to take a different approach. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, um, I feel like we got to get more organized. And that's what happened. I just was like, I feel like if people can 
be there on them scenes. Like those people, they, they was there on them scenes. So every, like I said, every 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 situation probably ain't gonna be able to get saved. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to be right. risking your own livelihood now. You know what I mean? In order to step in, is is I'll be hearing cats screaming. You know, if I'm if I'm around. And if something going down like that, I'm knocking the cops out. I'm going to we all want to <laughs> okay. That, and that's cool. That that listen, because 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 to you know to to achieve things that you never achieve, you got to do things that's never been done. And people, there's people that's there's really people out here right now that's really the rock that's willing to rock like that. So I just felt like you know not necessarily trying to encourage people to really just start punching on cops and risking your own livelihood, but to create that presence where they know it's not going to be that simple no more. You know what I'm saying? Like when we right. putting all this pressure on you now in these situations. It's us against you. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 until y'all, until y'all willing to work with it. So we just that's kind of what it was, man. I just felt like, you know, I wanted to create something that'll help us get a little bit more organized. And I'm you know, I, I consider myself a creative thinker. So it was it, you know, the coming up with the icon, coming up with all that, you know, uh the content and everything that that just kind of came naturally. And then we just had to continue to develop on it and make it make sense. But um, that's what I felt like. I, and when I thought about it, I'm like, this would be dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like just from a consumer standpoint as well, not just the developer. I'm like, this would be dope. This would be something that I would want. You know what I'm saying? I would want that. This would make me feel good if the cops get behind me and I and I got access to this and I'm able to hit that button. It'll feel like I got people with me, even if I'm by myself in the car. I'm that's like, I got, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So so you said we, like, who so who worked with you on this app? Who's all the, um, part of the development of this app for all with you? To be honest, um, aside from my developer, my main developer, and his team, um, on the technical side, obviously with the codes, uh, it was me and my lady. Man, I came up with it. I gave it with, with, like I do with all my, you know, the things that I want to come up when I want to develop. I get the vision going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And bounce it off her. She go with the administration. You know what I'm saying? Because it's it's, it's parts it's parts of this process that people don't really be, they get ideas and they don't know. Like, bro, you gotta. You gotta contact me. You gotta <laughs> this is in order. You know what I'm saying? Right. She good so at that. Behind good the at, scenes, you gotta do it. Yeah. She good at that, and I'm good at making sure she stay on top of that. So we a good team, and we're a good tandem. So that's really what it was. It was really just me and her. Um, we built this thing from the, from scratch. You know what I'm saying? Um, and like I said, I had to I had to get a vision to my to my developer and make sure they they put everything in place like we like we seen it. You know what I'm saying? How we wanted to have it, and that pretty much was what it was. Definitely. So, um, besides, like, the other question I have in my head too, like, besides, like, um, you know, besides being getting a situ- being in a situation with a, like a law enforcement person, would you uh, do you think people also use this app? Like, they ever like they in a situation where, you know, uh, they are getting robbed or they in some type of, you know, what I mean. Mm-hmm. Some type of situation like that was that also a good use of the app? Listen, I would <laughs> listen. <laughs> if my daughter, were, if my daughter, or if I had a daughter and or my lady was in a situation where it didn't necessarily have Somebody to be was with talking with something like that, yeah. so comfortable. Like, like, hit the button, like hit the button. We figure the rest out when we get there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, hit the button, like. <laughs> I mean, iPhone even, I mean, you know, I don't know about Android, but I know iPhone got like an SOS, you know, feature on there where like you can hold down a certain button, and, but that, 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 that uh gets in touch with the police, you know what I'm saying? So, which is cool too, you, you know, sometimes they're necessary, you know what I'm saying? But for, for me, like I said, personally, I would hit the button if, if it's just a crazy situation. I'm like, I just need somebody to listen. I mean, we need some more power and numbers. I need some <laughs> ways. Crazy out here right now. Because so. like, like, because there's a lot of, you know, ever since Trump been in the office, you know what I'm saying, been a lot of racial tension. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I guess like, you, get, you know, ever in a situation where you're dealing with some type of racial stuff, that'd be a good, a good time to use it as well. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Absolutely. And have people to come and witness what's going on because, it's, it's just been real crazy lately, which is past four years with, with, with your boy in the office because he was he's just been stirring up all types of shit. You know yeah, I mean? he definitely uh he definitely came in and, and and did his thing and left his mark uh completely on the country, like definitely. Yeah, it was just it's just been crazy. But um so like I said, I'm I'm re- I've read the description of the app. It's very intense to the, the description of the app itself. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Um so, with this, like I say, with this app is is going to, going to bring different uh, awareness or attention. Do you feel like you 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 targeting the police? Like, do you think this app would be something to use to target the police, or is something to bring attention to, you know, to the, to themselves and also to their surroundings, what's going on within the community and everything? Um, 
I mean, the police is they already targeted, man. Like they 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 they, they ain't been doing the best job, man. They, you know what I mean? They 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 targeted already. We just like I said, we just adding on to the solution. At the end of the day, it's not a, it's a real issue. You know what I'm saying? So if they if they part of the issue, then y'all part of the target. You know what I'm saying? So like, <laughs> you know what I'm it is what it is. You know, ain't nothing personal, but you know, y'all really are taking lives, man, for real. And then it's like a mistake. You know what I'm saying? Well, I thought he had like we can't keep having that, man. You know what I'm saying? We can't. Because at the end of the day, it's taking it's really taking a toll on us. And this is stuff that our kids seeing growing up. You know what I'm saying? This stuff that we seeing like it's just like Brianna Taylor. They came in the wrong house and killed her. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, like George um, Floyd, he begging for a dude. He begging for you to get off his neck. His like, neck. This, yeah, we can't like, keep, this you can't keep the, um, that. I think it was the cop, like, the female cop, she went into the wrong apartment and killed the dude. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. How you get into the wrong apartment? <laughs> it's, it's, it's nonsense, bro. It's nonsense. And like, what, what else do y'all have to say for it besides like, you know, we're going to look into it. You feel what I'm saying? It got to be things that got to get done. I mean, it's a lot more work. Like I said, this ain't this ain't the whole solution. It's a lot more intricate work that I'm sure that got to get done that I'm not necessarily trying to be the face of. But I'm just like I said, I'm, try, I'm I got I, I created a platform that I want to contribute to the solution. And I'm willing to be a part of whatever other platforms that's out there. Like I said, it's people that's really on the ground that's really putting in work. They at these, you know, they, they in these council meetings. They at they out here trying to really change things for real, like hands on. Right, you know I mean, uh, yeah, 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 exactly. They real verse with this, with this type of stuff. And, you know, like I said, I just want to be a part. I just want to be a do. You know, uh, I heard something on a podcast the other day. I was listening to um, with Tamika Mallory and my son. And they said, you know, everybody got the right to care about their community. You feel what I'm saying? And, and so this is my part. You feel what I'm saying? This 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 how I make, this how I will express that, you know, along with other things. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, so, yeah, that's just how we rocking, man. No doubt. Yeah, nah, I appreciate it. Cause matter of fact, when um when was the app uh, actually launched? Cause like I said I just seen the post the other day. Mm-hmm. Probably what's today, Tuesday. So I think let's was supposed to be over the weekend or probably right before the weekend. So when did you actually uh when did you actually launch uh the app itself? Um the fourth. I oh, it, it got launched uh February fourth. Yeah, that's when it got launched. Uh so five days ago it got launched. Oh yeah, so it, it, it hasn't even been a full week. It Thursday, hasn't even, Thursday. Yeah, it Thursday. It, yeah, it hasn't even been a full week yet. So, okay. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. I had it for a while. Though. You know, obviously, you got to develop things, but I had it for a while. Yeah. Um, and it was getting like, you know, I was getting impatient. Like, damn, man. Especially because I keep seeing new stuff happening. I'm like, man, I got to get out here, man. Like, but a developer, we had to figure out some things and just put some finishing touches on it. And obviously, like I said, we're trying to continuously develop and add things. We don't want to just leave you where it's at. There's, you know. We just got to build a stronger team and a stronger platform period because every 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 um platform has their you know faults that's why they have updates you know what i mean to get rid of bugs and certain things that just malfunction so we actually we ask y'all too to you know be patient with us as far as that goes you know what i'm saying we won't create we it's here now so we we, we adamant at trying to make it to where we wanted to be so that everybody really got that that access to that support and that becomes like a you know a culture you know what i'm saying so yeah no doubt. yeah so the course is available on both iPhones and Android, correct? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got Android, so I, I yeah. Know. <laughs> the, number, the numbers is uh the numbers for uh Android, Google Play, they've been all right. They they you know we got I I think more people have uh iPhones. You feel? I think that's more more uh popular. So, but yeah, um, more, I'm gonna say more youth have iPhones. Yeah, it's the newer generation type. Thing. Newer generation, yeah. 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 Uh, both, like all my sons, they that's all they want is iPhones. Like, um, mm-hmm. you know, I guess that's the thing. But I don't like iPhones. You got to pay for everything. <laughs> um, even the new, cause I just got my um, my um, my youngest son a new uh, the new iPhone, and you have to have mm-hmm. to pay for the uh, adapter part to plug into the wall. That was that was yeah. Actually, yeah oh yeah, 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 yeah. Don't come charge you. Nah. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. <laughs> Apple <laughs> eating. Yeah, it's always easy. So tell us a little bit more about the tips. Like, what type of tips exactly? Like, are you trying? Are you are, are you directly putting the tips in there? Or are you letting the um? Or are you letting people that um download the app uh, add, add add on tips onto the to to the app itself? Nah, that's the tips is all us. We um honestly like they they you know one thing I'm learning about some of these tech people and I understand like what apps they have teams where they have creative department they got the tech department they got the monetization department. 
and all that. Some people got to focus on certain things. They they they, they technical technically sound, but they are not really creative. So like they just, they don't really know what people need. <laughs> you know, it's like so. Uh, it's all us, man. We um and and that's something that we're willing to take any suggestions on. Um, and we we developing. We're trying to develop more. Uh, again, and just uh just try to make it be as helpful as possible. But yeah, the tips is uh just. Just certain things like educate yourself on on your rights. You know, what I mean, that's something that I want. I'm I'm even getting more passionate about. Like, I need to know Going like to the law and everything. Yeah. Videos with cats be chewing the cops up because they know their rights and all that, and they know how they violating them. Like, I, that's that's empowering. You know what I'm saying? So more people getting like that in the communities is is is, is power. So you know, educating yeah. yourself, um, being transparent about you know which your movements. You know what I'm saying? Like like you know being uh. Letting them know, like, if you want to go grab something or do something, let them know. You know what I'm saying? Like, stay a step ahead of them. You know what I'm saying? Because they, yeah, when they, yeah. they, they want you to be, you know, irritated and irate and, you know, just, you know, just ignorant. You know what I'm saying? That's what they want. They want a reason. So let's not do that. Let's 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 leave them confused. Like, I had no yeah, reason. Yeah, I, I like that because, like they said, you know, people don't take the time out to do a, a lot of reading because I'm not going to read no damn law books. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, yeah. Like, but yeah, you yeah. got a little little tip in there. I'm mean, giving different description on different laws and stuff. I yeah, that, that's, that's absolutely cool. what we plan on. That's absolutely in the works too, man. We definitely plan on doing that. It's so making are you reading a lot more, uh, like studying a lot more on the law now since you got this app put together. Absolutely. Um, I definitely have intentions on becoming way more uh, insightful and um, you know, aware of my rights. Not only for myself, but just for my for my family as well. You know what I'm saying? And to be able to and to be able to duplicate it in people, be able to tell talk to people about it. You know what I'm saying? Just the, it's all about self development at the end of the day. Whether or not I had this app or this platform, that's something that I should be you know getting myself more into. You know what I'm saying? Even getting in more in tune with the politics of my community. You know what I'm saying? Who we putting in offices and how that run? You know how that go? All that stuff ties into each other, man. You know right, you're right, you're right. Because you especially with the local election, people don't understand that like, local election kind of affect you a lot more than the federal election does. Yeah, absolutely. The local politicians are the ones that sign up on all the laws and stuff that you got to follow in your, mm -hmm. in, your, in your own communities. They're, they're the ones that set the budgets for your yep. community. You know what I'm saying? Stuff yep. like that. So people understand, you know, they understand that type of stuff. Absolutely. Um, so you started off with, the, with this app right here. Are you um, ex about uh, planning on expand, uh, expanding the platform like to a website, YouTube channel, and all that type of stuff? Like, Yeah, we got a website. What are the goals for the, for the uh, Bear Witness app? Yeah, we got the website. Uh, the website is up. Um, we do plan on uh, getting a YouTube channel for content. Um, we got the social media platforms as well. Um, and you know, we got we plan on creating merch. You know what I'm saying? So people can identify themselves as bears. We want that thing to be such a such a culture where if if you know a police with the wrong intention see that sticker on your car or see that that keychain on your keychain, they like. Mm -hmm. I already know how you come. You know what I'm saying? Like I already know. I like that. You know what I'm like saying? That, so yeah. we definitely want people to be, you know, t-shirts, whatever. You know what I mean, just for people to, because uh, the app is completely free. Um, the app is completely free. There's no charge for the app. So we'll have a uh, want to. We want to implement something in there where we do like a prepaid legal, where people are able to uh, start, you know, doing prepaid uh, accounts for legal for lawyers across the nation. There's there's lawyers that's offering, you know, free services based off of uh, what happened with the protests and everything like that too. So we ain't trying to step on the bike toe. So we just at the end of the day, we still uh we still developing and doing a lot of research because it's not. It's not it's not simple, you know what I'm saying? So and and I was a and I'm a regular dude. I'm not no brainiac, I'm not no nerd. You know what I'm saying? I just work and I like I say I'm creative. So like um, you know, that's, that's, that's just that's, all, that's the first steps you need, right? That creativity. Yeah. Once that creativity starts rolling, you know what I mean? Stop Absolutely. Everything together. So they yeah, they get that that the uh the bear logo, like say on the car or or in the uh like a keychain, mm -hmm. uh the cops treat like the PBA car. I think it's yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> just to create that little quick little you know, trigger in their head, like, let me, let me, you know, watch how I conduct myself during this little stop right here. So, so have you ever been involved in a situation where you had to uh, deal with the police directly or in any type of like negative form or in something that, you know, you experienced that have to actually, um, let me play the part of you creating this app as well or no? Um, yeah, actually, absolutely. I definitely have been involved in situations dealing with the police, man. So, as you probably know, Hamilton kind of crazy. Um, so yeah, I definitely, I definitely been involved in uh, situations like that, that didn't really play 
into why it definitely added to the passion part of it but that wasn't like you know I, that my my real running like that was like in 2010 you know what i'm saying so but um definitely like i know how they get you know what i'm saying and they regular dudes man like they, they be regular they be regular people man they be had they you know they, they supposed to uphold you know a certain statue and whatever right. the case would be and you know, the they, of the they, law. Yeah. yeah but they got they got clearly they got emotions and you know and and they got you know intuition that be off like a mug you know but it's uh they regular people so they get upset you know and or they get irritated with the situation they gonna react like a human they're not gonna react like a robot like some you know what i mean like they're gonna do some human stuff you know what i'm saying like that and react with human emotion and, and and things get out of control with that so you know um have you like any situation you've been in as far as dealing with the cops, have you? Because you, 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 let's say you're a, you're a big dude, you're, you're like your pops, so you got big dudes. <laughs> and sometimes, sometimes these cops get a, 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 like intimidated. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I mean, especially for what, like I said, one you black, so they already think some. You know, I mean, think some of us is, is that bad. But you being a, a big brother, you know mm -hmm. man, have you ever felt like a cop uh, like intentionally try to force their weight on you, or, or you know, what I'm saying intimidate you back or whatever? Yeah, definitely, man. They, 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 funny, I told you, they funny, man. Hey, you, uh, yeah, sure, for sure. Cops, security guards, anybody that feel like they got a little badge and like you know, put in a position of authority. You know, a lot of times they got that complex where they just like they want they ready to prove themselves. Like they take their little oath and they go through their little training. So now you know they top flight and they got that top flight complex. You feel what I'm saying? Where they like, I wish a nigga will come here at grades, whatever. You know what I mean, so. I've definitely been in some situations, man, where, you know, I kind of had to show them, like, we still men at the end of the day. And sometimes we got to do better at that, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, controlling ourselves and staying poised. Because I know growing up and being a little younger, I was like, I didn't care about none of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I didn't care about none of that. You know, but when life, you know, as life progresses, you get kids, you get more responsibility. You Just things you got to think about. You just grow mature. But when I was younger, man, like, I, you know, we could rock. Like, man, <laughs> you, want, you know what I'm saying? It's whatever, like, you know, but. Yeah, you definitely sometimes you kind of just, you know, and I feel like that's just corny, man. Like whether you got the whether you got it, whether you're a cop or not, anybody that deal with stuff like that, those complex, I was like, man, that's just corny to me, man. Just <laughs> regular dudes, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want no problems, bro. Like, I'm regular. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, we got some, especially with um, you know, some little dudes, they got that that uh, Napoleon complex, you know what I mean? <laughs> I think everybody you know, <laughs> it's happy. Yeah, got to prove, prove themselves. Know what I mean, <laughs> it happens. Man. It happens. I got a lot of short. I got a lot of short bros. Bro, you like six two, six three, right? I'm, I'm six five, but I got That's a lot. Exactly. Of, so of course, you got, got a lot of short bros. bros. <laughs> you know, ain't a lot. They get busy. Though. Like they get busy. They think they they think they taller than me. Sometimes I'll be like, oh, okay, of course, of course. I know. I know that feeling because I should be one of the shorter ones at, at the whole crew too. So I had to yeah. step it up. Know what I mean, but. Yeah. But I did notice, uh, I you know, because I do my little, you know, my little research, my due diligence, mm. and I peep some of your pictures um, on your on your on your Facebook page. Mm. Uh, so you uh, you do M um, MMA or uh, kickboxing? Oh yeah, yeah, I do a little bit. I do a little bit, a little bit. So of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, I, I train. I, I you know, I, I dibble and dabble a little bit in that man. Did a little training. Um, that's that's one of my passions, though. You know what I'm saying? I just like I just like you know getting involved and like. Uh, uh, organized, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be out here in the streets fighting because right, right, not even right. fighting anymore. They trying to clap something, so I don't want no problems. I don't want, <laughs> I don't want no problems, but like if it's, if it's you know, it was organized and and you know, I'm, I'm all for that, you know what I mean? I'm all for the sport, yeah. The sport is you know, it's, it's a, it's a, you know, what I mean, come next to uh, you no know, football and boxing, there's definitely a full contact sport, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. about handling your business in that right now, octagon, you know mm -hmm. I mean? yeah. Some, some hand to hand man shit. Nah, kind of <laughs> now nah, I seen the pictures of you kicking a bag and everything. Like, oh, look at yeah. that guy. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, that, but also, that's a good way to stay in shape too. Absolutely, it's the best. It's the best cardio, man. It's the best cardio. If you ain't even, you ain't got to do it because you want to be tough and fight. Just do it just to work out. Get a trainer or just throw. Listen, throw a hundred punches. You feel me a day at the workout? That's going. It's going to work, man. You know what I'm saying? It's going to work. Sure. So you got the, the website is up. I mean, it was the same it was, uh, bearwitness.com. Yes, bearwitnessapp.com. Not the app.com. Okay. Yeah. And what's the, what's our, uh, some of the social media pages that you have? For All it? Bear Witness app, social media, um, Instagram, Twitter. We, we still developing these things. Twitter is dry, but we got to get it right. You know what I mean? So we got Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, 
TikTok, LinkedIn. We we developing all these platforms, man. We like I said, it's only been a week, and uh, yeah, so, I know, yeah, yeah. We, 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 doing our, we definitely doing our work, man. We trying to make all the right connections and uh, just you know trust the process at the end of the day. Okay. So, like I you. Matter of fact, who came up with the logo? I like that logo, the bear logo. Yeah, that was me. I did the I did the logo from scratch, and then I sent it over to the graphic designer. Had him put his touches on it. Um, they were sending back some BS at first. I'm like, bro, like, ain't no way. You find <laughs> Come on, bro. Oh, hey yo, come on, man. But he did it. He got it. He got it together eventually, and we and we we both were satisfied. I was satisfied. You know what I'm saying, but yeah, definitely, I, I did that. I got, I got the you know everything in my files, the sketches and everything from the from the rip. You know what I'm saying? Like I just I, first thing I thought about was the icon. Like, I always thought I thought about how Facebook, they icon is you know global and like it's known. You know what I'm saying? You see a Facebook icon, you don't even need to see the whole name, but you know what it's about. And I thought about the same thing with Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat. And I was like, I want to create an icon that I feel like no matter where you see that, you know what it's about. Like oh, I know what that's about. You know what I'm saying without even seeing the whole word and nothing like that. Word, and then I just got a little bit more in depth with it. That's what's up. Like, like I said, it's like it's dope. You know what I'm saying with the camera and the bare eye and all that. Yeah. yeah. And the whole yeah. concept of the, the uh how you put the you know put it together, bear witness. Because mm. at first I wasn't sure what it was. And I'm saying when mm. um Luck sent me the app, mm. um the uh the post, I'm like, bear witness, I'm like I right, bear witness to what? <laughs> mm. But as you explained it on the little video clip that you, you put out there, I'm like, you know what, I gotta download this. I mean. Even though I don't um particularly since I've been older, since mm. I got older, I haven't had the you know, luckily haven't had a situation where I ran into the you know the police where I had to deal with them on certain mm. levels. You know mm. I mean, um for one, you know, my way of thinking is different. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, so, but but not no, but you know, not 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 saying that their way of the, the way of thinking is different, it's just the fact that I you know, I move a certain way and do things a certain way. So mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I can avoid them. I can't. Right, right. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's, like I'm, I'm, that's how I play. I'll be trying to stay out. They wait. Like, I don't yeah, want like, no, <laughs> I don't want to do nothing for real. Like, I don't really want to do nothing, man. I try to stay out. They wait. But, nah, yeah, man. sure. But it's, it's definitely, it's definitely, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a beautiful idea, a beautiful concept. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm all yeah. for it. Like I said, I got it. I'm supporting it. You know what I mean? How long did it actually take you to develop everything? Like, oh man, it's crazy. It didn't take long. It didn't take that long. It was like a few. It was like a couple months, man. Like, I think, I think, honestly, I think I did my patent in like June. You know what I'm saying it was like June. I did the patent, but I was already working on it. You know what I mean? I was already working on it. So like a little bit before that, it was right, right around. Honestly, it was right after George Floyd. Like a few days after he died, I came up with it. I'm like. You know what I mean, literally a few a few days after he died, I came up with it. Then I start following the legal process of protecting, you know, the brand and the IP and all that. So, um, intellectual property and um, yeah. So it wasn't it, it didn't take me that long. It didn't take me that long to develop. Um, so the brand's the intellectual property. That's the brand you said. Nah, intellectual property. That's what the uh, that's what you do to protect it. So like, oh okay, all right, yeah. The patents and the trademarks and the trademarks and, and all that. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. So mm. where can um where can the people find the merchandise at? Is, is, is it ready now or is it? No, nah, it's, it's it's in the works though. It's definitely in the works, man. We got uh we trying to we trying to place our orders and everything right now. So because I know they're gonna be uh like I got family members and stuff that knew about it before launching and they've been on my heels for for it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying so we we definitely uh trying to cover all our bases right now. You know, like I say, we got a small team. It's kind of just me and wifey. So we going we developing a team to be able to take on some of this load. You know what I'm saying? Focus it's on it's definitely, it's definitely going to grow, and it's going to grow yeah. to the point where it's going to move so fast. Because, uh, like I said, the, the the whole concept behind it is is a, is a great thing, man. You know what I'm saying mm -hmm. people protecting themselves. You know what I'm saying against any type of injustice. Period. You know what I'm saying absolutely, you know what I'm saying? absolutely. So, and and you know, <clears throat> getting behind you as a young black man, I'm definitely all for that. You know what I'm saying besides the mm -hmm. fact you know, your, your pops is my brother. You know what I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, your pops is my brother. He's like a big brother to me. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so until you get the merchandise and everything, are people able to like donate to your uh uh to to you and everything for the, to help them keep the things moving, keep the things developing, or yeah, we speak, we speaking with uh we speaking with um some of our our advisors and game planner right now on the best way to uh you know just create resources and funding and stuff like that. Um, so we'll definitely be releasing any information. Um 
that we can when the time is right for those type of uh, actions or whatever the case may be. So for sure. Absolutely. So just I gotta tell everybody, just you know, the more you stay connected, you ain't gonna miss nothing. You know what I'm saying? When we get it, the world gonna get it. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna we plan on, you know, like I said, we got a vision. So we just, you know, just trying to hit every mark, you know, on the way up. Yeah, because that like I said, you I just launched it on Thursday, which is mm -hmm. uh, was the fourth. Uh, mm -hmm. So basically, all y'all like like y'all like in like phase one right now. Right. So yeah, we're going to the next phase. Yeah, so, we right out. We out the trunk with it right now. My life's like selling mixtapes out the trunk. I'm going around. <laughs> I'm going around, hopping out. Let me post my flyer up in here. They're like, "What's that about?" Explain it to them. They're like, "Go ahead, put it right on the front front door." You know what I'm saying right on the glass. So don't you do what the guys do? Like, uh, some people are kind of leery about it, but they actually see their phone and just throw the yeah. app right on their phone. Like, huh? Take this. Really? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> bro, I, before I left my dad's shop, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> yeah, before I left my dad's shop the other day, it was like it was packed in there. And um, shout out the headquarters too, but. I, I left his shop, man. I'm like, I just made a big announcement. I'm like, look, everybody, I got a new app, man. I need everybody to go download that. And they're like, oh, what's that about? You know what I'm saying? So I'm definitely, I ain't missing no opportunities, man, to, to spread the word, man. Because I feel it, we got to grow at the end of the day. That's the only way it's going to be as effective as we plan for it to be, is for it to grow. So, definitely. No, it's, it's, like I said, man, I, um, I love, when I first saw it, I was like, all right, this is some dope shit. I downloaded it from the gates. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, um, so before I even before I found out who you was, I downloaded it. You know what I'm saying? It's, right. a, whole, it's a whole, Point of supporting you as a young black man for one, and also, mm -hmm. know what I mean, um, the whole concept behind it. You know what I'm saying the whole being aware of what's going around you. You know what I'm saying mm -hmm. being witness to everything and 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 just you know um, want to protect yourself, your rights. You know what I'm saying when you're dealing with certain situations. You know what I mean you got to know what to do. And like I said, the tips idea, the tips. You know what I mean definitely going to be able to play a big part. Hopefully, y'all better feed as much information to people as possible because like I said, people don't. Don't, we're not yeah. reading law books. You're not, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you're not a lawyer, you're not gonna read no law books. You know what I mean? So sure. they, we definitely need that. You know I mean, yeah, for sure. Um, look forward to y'all growing and and, uh, and build building with you more. Definitely. Um, Absolutely, bro. You already know, Bromley family, man. So we going Bromley family. Yeah, you know. we, we locked in. You know. Yo, you been to the new spot yet? To uh, um, Z in new spot. Oh, oh yeah, you, sure. you know that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. The spot. Uh, no That's exactly what it's called, too. The spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no doubt. Mm -hmm. No, before we get about it, though, man, who you, who you want to shout out real quick? Um, now I just want to shout out, uh, you know, uh, especially you first and foremost for rocking with me, man, and being one of my first interviews. Uh, it's my first time even doing any live type joint, you know what I'm saying? And uh just want like I said, I want to shout out headquarters barbershop, man. And um, I just want to say uh rest in peace to my cousin Melanie, who just recently passed. Um just want to say uh, love her, rest in peace and all that, man. But other than that, you know, everything's Gucci. No doubt. And one more time, let people know like where they can find everything at for all the, uh, the app, the information, and how they can download it and all that stuff. Yeah, get with us at uh, at um, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, that's where we're most active on right now. Uh, as far as Facebook go, you can get with me at Cain Blanco. We still developing our Facebook, our business Facebook page. Uh, our business Facebook page on Instagram is um, Bear Witness app, um, and you can get with me and my personal Instagram page at King Kaim. And um, yeah, man, just stay tuned and stay connected, man. So y'all don't miss nothing. From saying you can download the app from uh, Android you can or right now. It's available. iPhone. It's available for both platforms, iOS and Android users, man. Go in the Apple market and the Google Play market and, and, and get 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 uh get into the community, man. Let's grow, let's stay connected, and let's support each other, man. It's very, very, you know, important that we can uh impact each other, impact these incidents so we can re uh like I said, reduce the yeah. chance of anything like this happening. You know what I'm saying? You got like you say it's different when, you know. We, people did after the fact. You know what I'm saying we yeah. need to be there before beforehand to prevent yeah, it absolutely. at all. Yeah, um, for sure. It's, 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 it's the app. Prevention, it's the man. Prevention. Right. Yeah. So definitely, yeah. yo, look, man. I look forward to seeing a lot more from you, man. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. Um, we, we, yeah, you in North Jersey? You said what? We, what part of yeah, Jersey? yeah. That's why. That's where I. Uh, that's where I reside currently in the North Jersey region. But I'm, you know, I. I played on highways, man. So I'll be, uh, I'll be, in, I'm always around, man. No matter, <laughs> I'm always around. It don't take you much. Definitely, you definitely need to add playing on highways, especially with them state yeah. boys. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Absolutely. 
Yeah. Look, man, I appreciate you coming on, man. I'm saying appreciate you giving me the opportunity to interview you first. So that means I got the exclusive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. You know, I'm, um, yeah. And like I said, thanks again, man. Keep doing what you're doing, man. I look forward to uh, you know what I'm saying, seeing more from you. You know what I mean? Appreciate you, bro. You know, I'm gonna see you. No doubt. Buy me family, yeah. man. That's how we do. You already know. No doubt. All right, peace. Peace. Global Unlimited Podcast, man. That's my man, Kurt. <clears throat> Cain Blanco, you know what I mean? Doesn't doing his damn thing with the new app, um, Bear Witness app. You know what I mean? So make sure y'all go to, you know what I'm saying, Apple, uh, you know what I mean, Play Store, um, you know, Google Play Store. Make sure y'all download the app, Bear Witness app, you know what I mean, to help prevent incidents from happening. You know I'm saying before, you know what I mean, it's too late. You know what I mean, so make sure y'all support that brother, follow him you know I mean? on Facebook, like you say, uh, Cain Blanco, B L A N C O. First name is spelled K I Y E M. No, K Y I E M E. You know what I mean? And just keep looking out for everything you're doing, man. You know what I'm saying? Young entrepreneur. You know what I'm saying? And um, this, is how we, this is what we do here on, on Global Unlimited Podcast. You know what I'm saying? We, we support, you know what I'm saying? Our young entrepreneurs, all entrepreneurs. You know what I mean? And just we'll continue on doing that. You know what I mean? So I want to get a shout out to him for doing this thing. You know what I mean? Um, and shout out to everybody that's, that's uh you know he's working with and supporting everything that he's doing. I um, mean, I want to shout out everybody that support everything I do here at Global Unlimited Podcast. I mean, Supreme Alliance Radio. Um, <clears throat> you know, I want to shout out my wife, my kids, family. I mean, everybody that, that holds me down. You know I mean, and, and stay in tune with everything that that, uh, that I'm doing. And like I said, make sure y'all keep it keep in tune, keep an eye out for uh, taking my funny World comedy show. We will be coming back soon, so make sure y'all keep an eye out for that. Make sure y'all subscribe to the YouTube page, Supreme Alliance Radio on YouTube. You know what I mean? Catch all the interviews there. So whatever y'all miss, y'all catch it on uh, Supreme Alliance Radio and subscribe to that page on YouTube. All right. Um. Once again. Uh, I'm dedicating everything that I do. You know what I'm saying almost everything that I do to my father. May he rest in peace. You know what I'm saying I just lost him recently to COVID-19. So I mean, this is for him. You know what I mean, I keep him. You know, keep. Him, I know he's still watching me, and you know, and, and keep an eye on me. So I'm keep making him proud. So but it's your boy Justin. I'm about to sign off. I mean, Global Unlimited Podcast, and we out. Peace.